Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another video. Today we are diving into world of demon souls. We'll explore how to enchant your demon souls, how to optimize your defense and make most of your attacks. Stay tuned as we cover everything you need to know about mastering demon souls. In this video I will explain everything for you. Demon souls become available at prestige level 8. Initially you transform to one demon soul, but as you progress you can transform up to three demon souls. So what exactly are demon souls? There are bursts of damage and defense stats that you can enchant with unique skills through your transformation. And let's start. Let's go to demon souls and just start for index and combo. Let's quickly go over combo index, the index list of all demon souls that you possess or you're missing and all the transformations. Combos provide additional stats when you evolve your demon souls. While they're not big stats that they increase as you see here, just base max HP attack. But of course at the beginning of the game, they give some stats and they are valuable at the beginning of the game. After they're not that much, but of course you always want to upgrade and have more free stats. For growth is a system that upgrades your specific demon soul element. By upgrading you increase demon soul level passively and upgrading tiers will need to upgrade all of them. So you don't worry. You don't need to overthink about it you just upgrade first the one that you use you see here it says max level then you upgrade the rest and when you have all maxed out you will need to have you will need to specific material but you can get it very easy and then just you upgrade and rinse and repeat if you go to demon souls and their info you can see here in the top we have passively i have plus 21 levels if you upgrade more you will have more passive levels which upgrades your demon souls this section is where you manage your demon souls you obtain through summoning here you can upgrade them the key areas to focus each demon soul has specific stats to go details it should say somewhere here. So each demon soul has specific stats and they are yours when you put them into defense or guard. But we don't care about putting defense and HP demon souls with the exception of epic or more rare like chaos demon souls. Or if they give specific stats from the bonds and the bonds you can see here. As an example, every demon soul has bond or combo which with another demon soul. Yes, they're great bonus at the beginning, but their bonus is better just as an upgrade than the bond. Again, with exception that you have specific bond that you cannot get anywhere else, like double strike resistance or defense ignore or let's say PvP damage increase. If the bond stat is just a defense or attack, by just upgrading, you will be getting more attack. So we care about bonds, only the ones that really matter. Evolution doesn't change the attack bonus so we will go to evolution in a bit you upgrade aim to upgrade everything at least 100 and up to 300 for non-epic demon souls with none attack bonus none attack bonus example is here defense bonus or can be hp bonus depending on demon soul we primarily focus on attack upgrades which I will explain further in later prestige but at the beginning keep at 100 yes I have 300 but I am in later prestiges keep at 100 if you need to put non attack demon soul by non attack I mean when you upgrade the status defense or HP 
and Chan Demon Soul that boosts the attack to between at the beginning of the game 100 to 300 or 400. Example here, I have 400. When you're later prestige, you keep 400, and at least when possible, you keep it 3 to 400. The epic or rare demon souls, similar to on attack bonus, because they give bigger stats. Let's say here, defense bonus 400, 300 is much bigger. If this one would be 300, it would be more because the epic. Demon Souls give more bonus, so we treat them as attack because the rare Demon Souls they give you better bonus. When I talk about epic, I'm talking about this shadow or chaos. The main key thing is try to maximize the main Demon Soul as much as you as much as you can. The upgrading between 100 and 300 is not that big difference. So if you keep at 100 everything, then max out the ones that you equip in the defense guard. At beginning, as I said, we have one, then two, then three, depending on your prestige. And at master one, you will get three. And then you will be upgrading more and more. The maximum will be three. Every demon soul has a bond. When you combo with another demon soul in your defense, again you will go in defense later on. Yes, they are great bonus at beginning, but their bonus is better just as an upgrade than the bond. So I prefer to putting two demon souls that gives attack as an upgrade over two HP demon souls which will have a bond of attack. Again, we can go to what we will, all we will have. So this bond gives me attack 6%. Yes, by evolving, you will be able to get a bit more of attack. But this demon soul gives me defense. So there's no point putting him for defense because we all care about attack. So I better put this demon soul, which gives 16 and another same let's say and it will give me 16 instead of this bond attack for 6. In summary defense, HP, demon souls, let's level 100 if you need to put in your guard or defense. Attack boost, demon souls level up to 300 or 400 depending on your prestige. Epic Demon Souls, same as Attack Demon Souls, we evolve to 300 or 4 because they give us much more stats as a boost. The main Demon Souls we try to max out always. Again, fast summary, if we, the, the main ones max out, the attack ones 300 minus 400 and the defense ones you just keep at 300 or 100. At beginning of the game because as I said 100 to 300 is very very small bonus evolution is critical part of enchanting your demon souls to evolve demon soul you need another same demon soul and few of the same element or color for example I will go here as you see you need same demon soul and two same element but for rare ones you don't have element i mean you don't use chaos or shadow use any element as the additional demon souls this makes the hp and defense demon souls very valuable as they are often used to evolve others other type of demon souls how evolution acquires in stages for epic or normal demon souls as i said just epic or normal demon souls evolution is the same just the other demon soul that is not identical can be used of any element on epic we normally use same element for gold rarity from one star you need identical demon souls and two others for gold 2 star you need one identical and four others to evolve from gold to orange you will need two identical and four others 
if I can find somewhere here two and four identicals again for the rare ones you need any element the wall from orange you will need another orange which is from upgrade from orange you need another orange and every time you will need another orange again on spe on the rare ones you need any element on the specific element which is storm ice or flame you will need one of the one of them from orange to red if i can find one i don't yeah from orange to red one you will need two same and one orange demon soul that's why we don't use defense and we just burn them here from when you come to red you need two same demon souls and one orange so you will need bunch of orange let's say i have here again same two demon souls and one orange it's not that important to have all demon souls at the beginning why because bonus evolution gives only base stats of the demon soul this means you want only your demon soul that you're using in the main bonus after upgrades is always same when i talk about bonus let's come back upgrades the additional energy and effect where it says yes this one is hp but it's my favorite demon soul attack so only the demon soul attribute and their specific skill attributes here and their skill is unlocked due to evolution but if it's not the main demon soul it doesn't really matter that much so focus on the main evolve them and it can be one star demon soul if it's in defense it gives after upgrades it gives completely the same amount if i can find as example let's say this one is red one upgrade 416 percent attack bonus i have in defense not upgraded upgrade 16 percent which means your evolution doesn't matter when you upgrade it just gives you the attributes based stats yes they help but all of them is really just base stats of course more you progress more demon souls you have more you upgrade that's what i am doing i'm upgrading all the rare ones and then one of each attack demon soul that i try to focus upgrading just for stats in defense because i can but if i would have chest not evolve demon souls which maybe i should do and evolve this but i like to have evolved at least these ones because they're very common and long story short you don't need to evolve to you can upgrade without evolution which will give you a bunch of attack so now let's go to guard as i said with every prestige you will get more and more after you get three demon souls you will get after you upgrade after you evolve after you get different prestiges after you get three you will get only as a passive again another reason to put just attack demon souls so you can boost your attack not base stats because base stats are really low comparing to when you have percentage attack the middle demon soul is the one that you use as transformation if i can show you transformation evolution is great because as you see orange red you will get another skill for example my gordon 
have all the skills unlocked. So how you put defense? My favorite demon soul is God of Darkness, I guess. Because it's super strong in skills, increased damage by each time he skills. Gordon, maybe even more favorite, just it sadly it gives defense HP bonus. Gordon, you have grab, silence, other skills. It's really good controlling Demon Soul. Plus the bonus that he gives is much greater. Plus it's the Demon Soul that you can get free to play, I would say. It's only Demon Soul that you can get from Sanctuary at the moment. So that's why it's red and almost maxed out. Because I can grab from Sanctuary Shop. If I can go to Sanctuary Shop, Gordon is here. You can buy every season and with a bit of luck, you will be able to upgrade your Gordon and it's amazing Demon Soul. More people should be using, especially if you are not lucky with other Demon Souls. Because again, to evolve Demon Souls, you need same demon souls i would love to have all the rare ones as a red i would just burn this one and make them red but again to evolve you need same demon souls evil angel archangel evil angel archangel again great attack speed and damage shadow hunter is very shadow hunter we have somewhere shadow hunter is great but again, for the bond, I keep it as passive because I like God of Darkness more, especially in PvE even more. Shadow Lord is amazing because he have amazing skills. Even if it's defense demon soul, when you transform, it has extra effects that increase with every evolution. For example, I will go to my Gordon again, details. As you see here, it says during transformation period, attack bonus plus 36%, depending on your evolution, and skill damage resistance for all team members. So when you transform, you have this boost. For example, God of Darkness, it gives only 15% because I don't have a lot of evolution of it gives attack to him and block chance for the team archangel when you transform gives what is this attack bonus and reduce all team member skill cooldown archangel gives you if a movability for 2.7 seconds Depending on evolution again, if I can find here, it's great bonus. If you have as a main, you transform, you get this boost. So it doesn't matter if it's attack or defense demon soul in your as a main, it give it gets the boost. So for team building, how you build the team. You want demon souls with good bond, and usually good bond is again only the one, not HP, not attack, not defense. That's what you don't want because they are the old bonds. Double strike, for example, or defense ignore or ignore strike resistance which are always gives from the rare demon souls if we damage increase and all of this increases through your evolutions so you evolve all with only demon souls that gives you greater bond i will show you example of my team so my first team is one bond 
and then three demon souls that gives you attack bonds no bond nothing second i have two bonds and even this is hp bonus i increase slowly because it will give me defense ignore increase more percentage and then couple demon souls for good bond so again let's go back i have three attack demon souls and one bond two combo demon souls combo bond and one attack and i always put even same again two combo and the same demon soul so you can use same demon soul in different defense we cannot have same demon soul in the same defense i mean more than one in the same defense here i have again only one bond and three attack demon souls as you see they're not a wall that is not worth it fifth two combos and one attack again combos because of the bond pp damage reduction and one attack bonus demon soul usually for it depends on your luck what you get but you want as attack here very good example here this one this one and this one which is fallen angel lord of ruins deep lord and of course the spectral mage they're the attack demon souls that you will copy and repeat and you don't evolve them you just put as a attack boosting demon souls i still didn't finish yet i started but it's not done yet so let's ignore that i hope it's clear why the team is like that again two bonds or one bond in a team plus one attack demon soul whatever you do the last demon soul should be your attack demon soul if you don't have enough good bonds you just put three you can put all four attack bo attack bonus demon souls but you want one main and usually the main demon soul that you'll be using it will have a good bond that's why you have that's why you have one bond and three attack or again when you progress you have more rare demon souls you have two because you need to put somewhere and one attack where you get demon souls you get from scrolls from the daily task you go the daily task you get the scrolls and then you summon them in as a companion or any other very important don't not summon when it's not the event we get event one or two times a month with a great chance to rare demon souls or if you get new demon soul if you're beginning that's when you summon all the demon souls if you hate the red dot just put you go to warehouse and here warehouse that's what they do collecting you just put in your warehouse and it will not be here let's just zoom on one maybe i will be lucky let's say just for the video because we have now one we have the event now so let's go here what i got nothing because there's nothing on the top flashing because during the event if you go to the event section you will get free demon souls summons and you rotate and you get more of good demon souls again you have a wish list if you need specific demon soul you can select but what i have here is the three attack demon souls that i will use it in my defense or i want to upgrade or i just want to burn it for upgrading demon souls and honestly this is end of the video 
if you have any questions or tips or you have a tip please leave them in comment comments below i will pin the comment if i miss something don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell for my guys and tips and really really thank you for watching thank you for watching and have a beautiful day have a beautiful day uh, have a beautiful day and bye beautiful people bye bye do you want to put that dish in your mouth